right after you can. Yeah, but that's why Hodge is good lah, sometimes to counter all these micro plays. So, I like to use last time in the west. Okay, next is the heavy maze. 9 seconds. So what does heavy maze do right, is the... Uh, it silence you ah. Like, like you all can try night helm. Like, uh, night helm now, night helm now. You all night helm now. Okay. Heavy maze spurts you. And, and to set up the engage right. They have to allow the mm -hmm. enemy come tank to come you guys uh, by placing yeah. your night helm. This is a counter play so... Gotta watch out, gotta watch out. Usually if, if you get rooted and silent, depending on the flow of the, the, the tempo of the battle right. If the enemy, if you know that your enemy has... Uh, has not engaged and a heavy maze do this to you right that's where the yep. see that's where the look the clans come in can you, can you stand like one corner and do that again like maybe one corner so we can you know, see easily so uh, we will hit barrock and trojan so same thing if uh, if you know that your enemy has not engaged has not engaged right so see i'm gonna root i'm gonna silence so they're gonna get fucked through the barrock so yeah mox you out if you get mox you mox you out yeah, I think you can oh. for it. Yeah, Moksu, Moksu. Oh, okay. And for the all the arcane players, got to cleanse our teammate. Lah. No, this is called heavy miss. Okay, this is called heavy miss. Okay, I want to change. Oh, you don't hit me. Wait. <laughs> I'll be resetting my cooldowns. So, three weapons. Lah. Just now I shown is the... Is this maze, Hodge. These are crumple tanks. No, just this. You can go and read it up if you need to. Wait, lah. Oh, there's one more. Back, back road maze later. Which, uh, you need to okay. Wait, the fly it. one. Uh. Yes. It's to re-engage really players so enemy defensive tank will use this, you know. And you're, and you're trying to engage, okay? You're trying to engage me on the choke, like, like, but don't eat me, like, I don't die. Like, try, 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 walk, walk me. Use your boots down, use your boots, use your boots, use your boots, use your boots, come down, use your boots, come down. Oh. So, so players can do this, uh, to prevent you. So, how to prevent that, right? We'll do the same thing again, but you'll use Night Helm, okay? But you're engaging. Like, offensive Night Helm. Offensive Night Helm. Hoa hoa, wait, let me hide first. Okay, I'm gonna hold here, I'm gonna chew here. Okay, you all trying to engage me? Try, try. See, not, look, the difference. You all can go for the clump. And of mm. course, uh, we have uh, we have weapons. Eh, we have boots, like boots of a law. And graveguard, I think, immune to this. I'm not really sure. Does it? But it should be, like, it should be. Graveguard. I try, I try, I have a big graveguard. I, I, wait, I, I think graveguard is not slow and. Uh, boost of Wallow will be nice, Boost of Wallow But you can try with uh, Gravecard I don't think it works on Gravecard I'm ready You I'm cool down okay already? Yeah, I'm ready Just run, run, okay. boost down Yeah, I got Okay, not lah <laughs> Gravecard doesn't work But it's all CC lah, so you can try Gravecard again I'll try to root you And you got it Okay lah, my, my, my cool down, cool down okay, Let me know when ready Yeah, from that angle lah, from that angle uh, 10 seconds Five seconds. It's only for stun roots and slow, uh. which is good also. Yeah, let me know. Yeah, Anytime. Ready, ready, ready. Yep, just run in, run to okay. me. Hey, I cannot, hey, I cannot root you. That's why boots, boots activation is very important uh, for the DPS. You know, they always cannot catch up. But of course, uh, if they are pre-positioned, if your pre-position is good, uh, you don't even need boots to, to engage. Okay, that's it for maze. That's it for maze. Is it for me? Wait, wait, wait. There's one more maze and I'll show the hammer something spot of thing. Wait, wait, Then uh, we have Oath Keeper for defensive. <coughs> oh. So for Oath Keeper, right? Oath Keeper is uh, nothing much. Like. It's basically for the tanks. You know, when your teammate is engaging, right? Through the chokes, you can do this. So they get motion state run in. Like why for defensive also lah. But you, depending on how many oath keeper we have lah. But you usually can use your offensive, I don't know. We get shield when we run in. So that's one. Then uh, there's a demon armor thing lah. The demon armor. Maybe, eh, wait. I'm not sure if I'll die or if I you Like demon armor. Can you try it? You all try and E me. When I like, demon armor, okay? Then I got room. Wait lah. For the DPS in 3, 2. Hehehehe. <laughs> 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 no damage. Yeah. Okay, come back, come back. Let me reset go down first. So that's Demon Arm. Demon Arm, what it does is a reflecting damage. Lah. You can go and read it up. So how does a Demon Armor place if you're an Oath Keeper, right? You want to throw your Guard Rune on the floor. Oh, we can showcase Guard Rune while waiting also. 
Uh, oh no, Gun Room is only applicable for me. <laughs> I want I want Arcane to 85 so I can steal Guard Runes and, and use it myself. Yeah, see? Oh yeah, true, 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 true. Correct, 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 correct. Uh, so maybe you can... So Guard Runes is work like this. Guard Runes here, right? your teammate is like a Night Helm. Then uh, you can Demon Armor here, you know, get a buff, something like this. Oh. This turn. Okay. Demon Armor plays, they're not supposed to get hit by the... By whatever the enemy is throwing, but try to use the... The aura around it. Like overlap, overlap the demon or demon armor, but not of course. Try not to use your your body to to be to be there lah, to be there lah. Who said run already? We can DM. Can ask me. But there's no if you if let's say you demon armor here right. Let's say enemy engaging at the stairs right. Like you're engaged here right. And uh, if I demon armor here right, I, I will most likely die lah. It's best that you stand here. One demon armor here. And the other one somewhere here though, somewhere here. So it overlaps. Uh, not the not the player itself oh, now here. Well, part of fight, fight, you can't control the situation. Uh. I then use guard rune. You to can showcase. Uh. You ask someone stay in binder. Uh. I have demon armor also. No, I'll be different team, so it'll be hard. But it's okay. That'll be all. Uh, we will go towards the. Okay, those less demon armor. That's another supportive for healer to take note. Uh. Uh, the Judicator armor, I guess. Mm. Judicator armor. So, Judy, I think nothing much. It's basically what it does, right? Is get 30% more heals. Uh. So if you need healers take note if you see Judy try and throw a fallen inside and you call up or fallen in Judy or yeah. If you say something I know nobody know where you throw your fallen inside. Throw inside, so we get heals and you get more resistance. So a Judy, Guard Rune and Demon Armor, right? It's a quite a very good defensive you know, for a demon armor player to survive all this. Quite strong. And then after that we have what the Guardian Armor? But Guardian Armor nothing really much. It's just it's only for defensive tank. So how to use right is uh okay, I'll pay with Growth Keeper. Defensive tank and defensive tank. This is Growth Keeper I guess. Growth Keeper is the the donut ring, they call it donut ring I guess, or industrial ring but right. So uh wait. So see ya. Guardian armor see, just tag. Attack the enemy with the buff, all your position, just relax here. Then they will get the debuff lah. <laughs> use it when they are engaging, of course. Don't use it when the enemy not engaging, I'm gonna waste it. Okay, guys, you wanna try and engage me? Eh? I'll put inertia ring to hold you all. Yep. Okay, let me check with Judy on first. Wait, wait, wait. One minute, one minute. Changing my Judy helmet. You'll know, use normal rush ah. Don't use the, the, the break free. Okay. Oh shit, sorry. Okay, I'll be here. Wait, I've got 4 seconds, 4 seconds. Okay, you all, you all try and engage me, try and engage me, try and engage me. Like, in 3, 2. So you jump in, then I walk away, and then keep trying to engage, keep trying to engage me, try to check, try to push. And the death tank, you put the ring here. No. And when your team is keep moving off, he's right, I keep coming, keep coming. Try to stop them. And of course, the Judy helm. So they back off. Oh. And you keep moving, your Zerg will keep moving also, then you keep moving, then you hold, you hold. Try to relax. And, uh, don't overextend, follow your follow Zerg. If your Zerg is moving, you move, but you stay at the tail of Zerg. So same thing, if the enemy keep pushing, right? Put a ring, then you back off. You go no value already. So see how the ring can slow them, all this. And of course the cleanse from the arcade help. And yeah, do, do your stun, all this lah, defensive. Damn long, see how they stun. Yeah. Very good. Can we do the ring again with Helm? I want to showcase Night Oh, Night Helm doesn't work. Night Helm doesn't work on the ring. Yeah, uh, so what it does, right? Grave Club Boots, I think you can run through, right? You want to try Grave, Grave Club Boots? Mm -hmm. Okay. For for the ring, uh, you know? Put the wall, See, I'm gonna put the ring. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's I think you can run through. See? You see? You see? Yeah. Uh, this is for the Grave Club Boots. Uh. So players tell me that you all cannot run in uh, because of rings, uh, all this. Uh, it's funny, uh, to be honest, because <laughs> yeah, the build is catered to immunity to stun roots and slow. So, no reason we cannot. And uh, okay, that's it for defensive tank. Oh, there's one more defensive tank weapon called the Growth Seeker. Wait, uh. It's basically something like Growth Keeper, but. But with. Uh, it's just a rule. Uh. So it's defensive tank is good to have stuns, you know. Stun, slow. And, oh, shit, I got tech. Wait, uh, let me change something. Yeah. Come, come, we go back to the middle, I guess. Uh, maybe here will be nice for Growth Seeker. No. 
<laughs> so anyway, we're waiting for the cooldown. Uh, defensive tank. Let's say uh, this is an enemy that the three of them is. You may want to stand like, you know, somewhere at the corner. Depending on where the zerg is, if the zerg is on the southeast, you want to stand somewhere here. Don't really have to be in the middle. So if they push in, you can try to throw your inertia ring to cover this area. Uh, Julie Helm also one. Julie Helm can stop everyone that's coming in. Don't really have to be in the middle. Or somewhere, if you want to... I don't recommend bringing to front. Depending on how the zerg play. Because they can shave your tank also. Okay, we're good. moving to Guild Seeker. 10 seconds. Yeah, I'm sure that's in food. So, you wanna go southeast wait? I try and hold you all when you push. As a Guild Seeker, stop it. As you imagine the zerg is southeast. Eh? You are the zerg, you're the zerg. Then, uh, clearly you don't, cleanse, you don't cleanse them first, yeah? Uh, we will yeah, do okay. one uh, without the cleanse. Okay, I'm ready. You all just push it when you're ready. Use a boots to come in or what? <laughs> so that's how you play as a girl seeker. We go ahead try again. So that I think too fast eh? people may not understand. Me, uh, you all go further, I guess. Oh, off my screen, uh. off my screen. Yeah, you all try and run. I try to slow you guys down. Okay, this we do without the. Wait, I got 10 seconds. Yeah, we do without the cleanse first. So girl seeker, you don't have to be like somewhere here. So you need to be at the corner. <laughs> Corner of it. If you have a party head, like or the zerg head, then try to be at the corner by facing the front. And uh, each defensive tank, you gotta cover each angle. La. So maybe one death tank cover this angle, the other one here. So, and you gotta talk, discuss in team speed who is covering which angle and who need help. Like, like you know the mid is coming, then maybe the death tank rotate, you know. It's all real, real time change, run. Like, if you all don't communicate within yourself, it's very hard. La. Okay, uh, the zerg can push me eh, on the southeast side. So you see the enemy is coming in, right? Oh, faster throw, throw your girl seeker, no? hold them, hold them, hold them. Then, and you can cast it twice, see? Now I'm on 20 seconds now. You guys can cast it twice, so depending on uh, how many angles you can cover. So uh, we'll do one with the cleanse, you know? we'll do one with the cleanse. So here is how you counter girl seeker for the, the arcane players, you know? Like arcane players, you have this, you have this W. It's called motivating cleanse. Basically it cleanse lah. It's just the same spell as this, where... Some players all can wear leather hood cleanse to negate all this lah. Come, can try, can, can come in now with the cleanse of Arkin, yeah. You see how the cleanse can run in. So uh, this, all these are individual place to to help. So this is for Guild Seeker lah. Guild Seeker. Wait, Merc Shugan lah. Uh, you, you are not advised to use Merc Shugan because it's supposed to meant for mitigation defensive. If you use it, you engage. You, you're gonna, you, you're gonna have trouble trying to run out. So try not to lah. That's why pre-position is important. If you in a good position, right? Not too far from the Zerg, not too far from uh, the where it's gonna come is. If you're too far means uh, no, you cannot night help. Night help is only for the you know the hand of justice, the vacuums, the, the air compressor, I call it air compressor. Force movement effect. Those are name the force movement effect. Where the weapon force you to move. Oh, come, come, uh, think think like that. Force move effect. So night helm won't work. Bedrock maze also, bedrock maze, you know the wind wall, the one that throws you very far. That's force movement, no? they force you to move. So roots are where the cleanse helps, you know, the ladder hook cleanse, all these. That's why some players, uh, your longbows, some of you can go night helm, too much night helm, then some of you go cleanse, you know, not meditation, there's no point. And uh, likewise for the healer side also, la, some run cleanse, some run night helm, half half each. And uh, okay, we will showcase the, maybe, uh, another defense itself from the Don Song. Don Song, you can use firewall, you know, when the enemy is oh, pushing. Yeah. So uh, maybe you stand on the northwest side, northwest of me. Yeah, yeah. Wait, uh, I will night helm. Okay. Let, me, uh, let me know when you're ready, then I'll just uh, try and engage you. Yeah, ready. Without the night help. Yeah, you just throw your... Uh, I'm coming in, I'm coming in. 3, 2, now. See? This is firewall, guys. Firewall. It's from the... Any fire stuff second spell. It's very good for open world browning. But ZVZ... Unlikely, it will be very good because uh, there's like... Too much CC going on. But not that it's bad, yeah. it's bad. Like. Uh, usually for ZVZ, I think most fire players will use the some other uh, like artillery or something. Uh, if I'm not, I'm not a fire player, so I cannot advise. But uh, be yeah, because ZVZ, there's other death tank to do this shit. Really. It's mostly for small scale fights, seven men or twenty men that we use. Okay, I'm gonna do one with the. You can do the same thing again, Fruja, and then I will yeah. run it with Nighthelm. So let's say, come, let's let's go in three, two, one. Now, you see, you can walk in if you play offensive Nighthelm. No, so so that's why this comes comes to the point where the offensive tank. You know, when you're getting a clump, you only need to night helm in lah. Night helm, so you don't get slow by all this. Not just this, like bedroom maze, whatever, whatever funny funny thing lah. 
So that is for the Night Helm Firewall that we showcase. Okay, maybe we now what should what are we missing? Ah, uh? maybe the icicle stuff from Barok. Icicle stuff. Mm. Uh, let's say I'm the enemy that's trying to push in this choke. Yeah, uh, you try and hold me, okay? Try and hold me. Try and hold me. You want me to put now? Hmm. You go further. Go further. I stand maybe somewhere like same thing. Don't need to be at the front at the choke. You know, let's say the Zerg is on the southeast. You want to be somewhere at the corner, relax. Like somewhere here. Yeah, here will be nice. So. Always look for the corners. Yeah, here. Then you can cast, cast over here, right? You should be able to cast over here when the Zerg is pushing here. Mm. So, I'm, so I'm gonna run in. I'm gonna run in. Three. Try and hold me. Two. One. So let's see. It's slow, lah. It's slow sweeper. It's quite good. It's slow sweeper here to control the Zerg. Yeah, after that, you assassin hood. Night armor if you need to. All this for the Astica players, lah. The idea is to hold. When enemy is coming in. Same thing for. Uh, uh, groove keeper. Of course, uh, if the groove keeper is there, right? If not in the ring, you don't want to throw a seeker, uh, Try to rotate the roof, rotate the spells. I'll Wait for the initial ring to to end, then put the seeker. Yeah, like one two second will, will be fine. You know, one two second, and then put a seeker. Oh, oh, it's not gonna stack, man. <laughs> then you know, myself extend the effect and allow the deck to. Okay, next thing I'm gonna show. Thanks, we are done. Very rock. Uh, demon armor. Judy helm. I show already, right? Judy helm. Yeah. Yes. You the bit. Yes. But you can show again. Okay, okay. And now bring out the the black one safe, I guess. BMS is very underrated at the moment. So what does BMS do, right? Is uh, it reduces the damage of the the enemy, lah. You can read here, but reduce damage by uh. twenty two percent versus player for every zero point seven five. Second that is there la. So how is how is used right is uh let's say let's say the range GPS is here like where Trujer Baroque Kalim is right. Uh, let's say they are throwing the E on me right. The BMS player can just you no know, throw this thing there. It, it reduces their damage. This that's how a BMS player. And with this in effect plus the Guardian armor right. Look, the effect is still ongoing. They do close to zero percent zero zero damage. Like Guardian oh. armor is sixty percent damage reduction. BMS is like another 20 to 40, eh? no relation to calculation, but it seems like 40% la, or more based on the. It's huge, la. that's a defensive tank, you know. We all got to maximize all this this funny, funny stuff. And it's up to individual players, la. the caller cannot help you. La. You all need to understand the weapon numbers and how you're gonna help the Zerg. And yeah, and then uh, that's it. Next thing is for Castle, this will work for full swing. Fossil swing is uh, affected enemy players will be able to do normal attacks on the castle gate. La. No castle gate, you could use demo hammer to hit the gate. And uh, usually, we'll, instead of using soul size, soul size is for the caller, so caller can run fossil swing. But usually, I won't because I want to run run. <laughs> want to run run. So I'll show you guys how the soul size works as a caller point of view. So, soul size oh. is basically just, uh, you know, when the caller say that northwest in 3, 2, 1, we just get knocked up, and the offensive tank come and get a club, a roots, nothing much, soul size. But just remember, Soul Scythe, usually the caller, but not saying that there's not other players that run Soul Scythe. So just be aware. Oh, I have a question. Uh, why, why don't I see Soul Scythe in like Black Zone CBC, but I see it in like Red Zone Bandit so much? But like Black Zone, I never see it. Or is it just because we don't use it? We don't use it. Like, usually, um, I'm the one that's supposed to use it, but because you know, sometimes I don't really, you know, I need to use it, but, but sometimes I feel that you no know, thanks. We may, may not get the club I need, <laughs> so I run maze myself. But but oh, yes la. Oh. Alright, in a bigger party, I need to run so safe. It's, it's better for me also la, so I don't really have to be involved in the fight, no, just overlooking. Sometimes I, I messed up my fight because I over, I'm tunneling region. Okay, next thing is uh, demon armor, okay. It's, it's iron clad stuff, guys. Iron clad stuff. So for quarter stuff players, or grill seeker players, you know, grill seeker, you can use this also. It's called cut wheel. Third Q, third Q. What you can do, right? For your Q, is you can do this to interrupt your enemies. All these like channeling spells, animatic spells, life curse you can interrupt. Maybe locus you can interrupt. Locus. So once you finish casting a spell, look look for look for people to interrupt. You know, look for someone to interrupt. All these six bow, six bow, and uh, can you can you try animatic your teammate without the face scale head? Yeah, five second. So, see. Five seconds. Five seconds. No more. 
Oh, uh, no. one. Okay, I think I only never showcased one weapon only. Oh, uh, I never only never showcased the the iron class stuff lah. Yeah. Oh, I think it's fine lah. Okay, well, that's, I think that's why anything else we need to let the guys know. I think that's about it lah. Not a nice video, but I hope they, they get the hang of it. Okay. Yeah, it's good for me. Like, I, I mean, I the, the boots thing is yeah important. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the boots thing is very important. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll upload to them lah, what they see. Lah. Hey, so, just a side question. Uh. Mm. Uh, Graveguard or Merce boots will be better? Because I see like Merce boots is better than. Or escaping ah, uh, but boot is better. Uh, uh, mercenary uh, boots and m mercenary boots and grave guard. It depends on what role you play. If you play melee, right, you got to go grave guard. You know, there's no way you can go, go for the common because there's due to the mass amount of CCs available in the game, right? It's a fight, right? You for melee, you need to go for range for healers range. Yeah, I can go merc shoe, you know, to dodge. But uh, it comes to the life curse. Life curse, have to use grave guard lah. Because you are range GPS also. Yeah, you are like so I melee range uh. You need to come in for the climb, uh, you cannot get, you cannot mess up, Ah, uh. uh, okay, okay, I understand. But if your position is well, right, at the you're looking at the zerk but at the corner, right, not in, not in the kill zone, right, you should be able to hit the life curse at any time, uh. Yeah, 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 I understand, lady. Question. So yeah. Why, why, why am I using hunter shoes? Is it because of the increased power control for a greater king? For animatic wise, I don't think so. Right, it should be on hunter shoe. It should be on assassin hood, jewelry armor. Yes, on night armor also fine. Dust evil also okay, <laughs> but usually jewelry lah. So we have backline jewelry. And the uh, shoe wise, I think you are open to use like. I think hunter is fine, so that you can run in fast. You know, it's a mode. It's a fastest boost in the game lah. You know, to catch up to run to something. Uh, unless you, I think you should go hunter shoe lah. So that you can like, you know, move fast to the desired location that you want to be in. Merc shoe, I don't think you need merc shoe because they're on plate. If plate armor usually don't need to be on merc shoe. They're sort of like a tank, you know. Yeah, all supports are on tank gear, man. So that's about it lah. Uh, apparently the video didn't save until the, the air compressor part. Should we redo that one? Only that part only. Yeah, I can. Uh, maybe I, can. I will just do here lah, like like one on one. Uh. So guys, this is air compressor. We change the view. Uh, who have night helmet? Moksu. I do. Oh, do you? Kali bah. Do you kali bah? Thanks the rest for coming. Thanks you. Thank you. I can do one more time. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, kali. Let's do free. Night helmet shoes. Okay. Second. Yeah. You good, you good. What what about Royal Sandals? Uh? Royal Sandals. Royal Sandals is a uh, bomb squad. Uh? It's I mean you can use all how say ah? Uh, it's meant to be you all use Royal Sandals because you're shit, that's why you use Mark Shoot. <laughs> uh -huh. right. Yeah, truly. I do you it is. Do me head, do me head, nice, nice. Yeah, go. So we'll show the players that you can merge you out of silence. Oh wait, wait, we will showcase the air compressor that you push you out. So guys, this is air compressor, so what? It's very easy ah. So tank, look out for tanks is like this. So, let's see if they're near you. So can you try walk away from me? So if they're near you, right? So you got the night helm, walk away, all this, you know. Do, so if not, they'll do this. So they'll suddenly you die. Because you are not aware of uh, these players near you. See, look at the weapons. Look at the weapons. Okay, next time we will do the. Can we try and. Mux you out? Okay. So you can stand here. I will go for them. Okay. I'll run to, I'll run to, you, run to you. So, a, a tank that run in for the clump, right? It's, it's very obvious, you know. Some, some, some clumper tanks are not very experienced, right? What they will do, right? They will just boost in. They will do this. You no, know, it's so obvious that they're trying to. To, to go for the clump. So it you need to look. You don't need to look, you know. Don't tunnel vision, don't look at just a character, you know. Analyze the battlefield where 
where the zook is, where the tanks are. Oh, this helps, all this helps. So, uh, can you try and practice on Nighthelm? When I'm coming in. Nighthelm will just walk out, Nighthelm. That's, that's, that's the mock shield that Kalin show uh, to run out. To run out. But too early. <laughs> but too early. <laughs> That's, that's how the Night Helm helps, you know, if you are alert. Then of course, if you know that you have a Night Helm buff, that by your teammate, you don't use yours, uh, you know, you wait for another one, then you press, you know, then, then of course, all you're doing Night Helm, you, you walk away from the tank, you know, if, if you are not a tank yourself, you, if you are, like, say, a healer, maybe an animatic, or range DPS, melee DPS, walk, walk away from the tank, don't have to be near them. Uh. And, uh, Kalim, so, so we have one feedback where, uh, players that merge you out of the, I compress right, but they still get rubber band back. The reason is because right during the Merc Shoe break free phase, right? That frame, right? You got interrupted by other spells. So that the break free is sort of like interrupted and it didn't register. Lah. So what you can do right is uh you need to break free to reduce that, you need to break free once you are in the middle, you know, in the middle and you get stunned. But but usually that phase quite risky also, you may have died. So don't forget your giant T5 pot, all this. All all this will work, you know. I'm not using it now. But yeah, if you use giant T5 resist pot, right, it will work even the uh Getting silence, so so I'll show you something that if you get silence, you can mock you out, yeah. So so the uh, claim I'll silence you, then try mock you, okay? So it's silent guys, silence by the tanks. It's called sacred ground. It is a okay. you, silence. You can walk out also. Even stun, even stun. I don't need to show you, but I can tell you it is. So so yeah, same thing. Uh, lazy wait for the cooldown, and uh, Kalim, we try and mock you out after I stun you, okay? Okay. Our aircraft right. you then stun. So all, all these are all these are if you cannot if like last time in the game right there's no no, no such thing as break free you know it's only night help only so now now with this all these weapons to help you guys to win more so yeah okay in three in two in one I'm gonna stun you now you see it's got stun again you can move out you can't see it. there was a cloud on him I mean it's stun so so yeah last time we don't even have all these funny funny weapons to to break to get out of club you know. Like we rely on the animatic to save us, uh, night helm, good positioning. There's no what, what, all this. So if you still die in one engage, right, means you, you are noob lah. So you just need to, uh, be more reactive in your mitigation. Mitigation. Also, ready. What to shoot? Yeah, okay. Yep. So you want me to use uh, which one first? Mm. Okay, first. I think the Merc first. Try to dodge. So I think I'll explain to the crowd what this is. So guys, it's Hand of Justice, so what it does, right? Uh, same thing like Air Compressor, I guess, just that like it works in another way. And uh, it's more fun to use, I feel, as a tank, compared to Air Compressor. And you get tighter clumps uh, sometimes. So, yeah, you can pull up to 10 enemies. Uh. It's quite nice. I'm going to show you guys how it works. Uh, can you don't make sure all this first? So usually the, usually the tanks will try to walk in, you know, to you. When you all see this type of tank with this weapon, try to memorize the weapon, how it looks like, you know. If not, you can inspect inspect the players, like me, see, I inspect very fast, right? Inspect the players, see what they have, and this hand of justice, uh, it's a very dangerous weapon if any, you know. What they can do, you can just walk into you and just do this. And there's like, uh, you cannot expect it uh, if you don't even know what to expect. <laughs> so that's how we do this video for you all to see. Uh, me, Kalim, we want to try to maybe mux you out of this. So for, okay. for, for mux you... Mox you right for this right guys. Uh, during the weapon spinning animation, right, you cannot mox you out one. So it's either you walk away as fast as you can with night helm, or you have to mox you as quickly as you can. Uh, once uh, once you know that the animation ends. Okay, in three, in two, in one. You cannot mox you out, but now you can at this point. Eh, you never mox you out. <laughs> Sorry, my data is not very good. But let's try again. So sometimes uh, as a horse, right, you can fake engage. You know, during brawling. Or ZBZ, I don't think it will work. But no, I'm trying. You can do this, you know. Try and chill, chill. Try to W. Then, you know, act like you're gonna engage, but you're not. So use the W to fake engage. Oh, this. oh, I see, I see. Let me know when you have good on. Okay. Okay, I'm ready, yeah. I'm gonna. So, same thing, enemy room. Try and mock you out. See, during the phase, during this phase, you cannot mock you out. Only after the stun. Hey, why you never mock you out? You need to go for it. <laughs> I saw you pop the box shoot, but you gotta go like way further, way further. Can we go to open space? I think it's there for you. I not much here, open space. I come here, come here. Oh, 10 seconds, good. Are you? 
So uh, other than that, Mukshu, it's best to rely on Night Helmet first. Like Mukshu should be the last, you know. If you position well in the or in the fight, uh, don't really have to worry about Mukshu also lah. As I mentioned, Mukshu is not even available in the game last time. So how did we survive last time? So it's all about positioning and Night Helmet. So uh, Kalim, you ready? I'm gonna try and try. Try. Two, one. Try Mukshu. Oh. Mukshu, Mukshu. Sorry. Please, Night Helmet. So Night Helmet is supposed to pop. You are now supposed to pop like Kalim. After you get hit, no, it's pointless. You are supposed to use it way before you, uh, you know, way before that, way before the enemy is trying to get a club, so you can walk away. But eight seconds, eight seconds. Now, can you find a comfortable position where you can work through? Uh, I think if you're on, I think you use quick cast. Uh. I use quick cast uh, for work through. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, uh, coming to you. Ready. Nice, but usually. Hosh is a like you cannot move through during the phase here, but it's quite dangerous also lah. Usually enemy will start to throw the DPS when it's spinning already. So against Hosh, uh, it's best to use Night Helm. Best to use Night Helm. And I'll show you guys how Night Helm counter. Likewise for Air Compressor and you know Night Helm out. But Air Compressor is easier to dodge for Moxu because you can do it during the phase of the Air Compressor. Although with some feedback that it doesn't work because you rubber man back to Air Compressor, but usually can. Okay, I'm gonna tr go for you. Can you try night help me? Okay, when I go near you. Okay, okay, you can night help now. So, of course, night help walk away lah. Don't don't please don't stand there also. So see, you night help, good night help. You cannot get club. You waste. You make you make them miss. We call it miss. Then it then then it stop. Then your party can start to engage really. You know. So yeah, yeah that, that's about it, lor. Good good night help. Make sure your mitigation, your clever rope, you know, all this. Okay, okay. thanks, Kalim. Thanks, Kalim. So here I'm gonna address the issue where you all feel that you know high IP can win the fight. But actually it's not, you know, it's more about the skill level of the everyone. Uh. And of course up to the caller, uh, how how you gonna set up the fight, you know. So in this particular GVG against Balen, oh my god, it's the wife on the box. The enemy is scouted as about yeah, what the hell? oh my god, my mistake. About this IP, 6.4. Okay, a lot of them. Whole block, whole block. 6.3. And most of us was about 4.3. Of course, I was. Uh, I think the server spec wasn't that high. So definitely, we very low IP than uh, by the enemy. Like, you know. Oh shit, one die. Oh shit, it's one like die. Four three six three. Yeah, that's quite a big difference, you know. Oh my god, my mistake. One die. It, it. So here, uh, uh, usually the death tank should be uh, should be the one scouting for me out this. I'm not supposed to do that. No, then I'll die. Oh, because everyone is new here, so I gotta I gotta do the hero. So I'm just gonna forward. Oh my god, you know how we kill players that is our IP. Yeah, yeah, it's always about movement, quick reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hold, you can run. Quick movement. We just want to play the audio. Come here. Ping, 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 ping. Where are they? Where are they fighting? <coughs> Put up, put up, put up, put up, put up. Oh, don't be on the way. Go back, go back, go back. Get out, get out. Let's set up the fight. Very scary, very scary. I don't know. Okay, so move quick. Very scary. Yeah, I'm analyzing the two controllers. Can we go south, 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 go south. Just gonna follow me. Let's go now. Walk as far as. Oh, watch out, go now. Go back, go back. Keep walking. Come back, come back. Don't run, run too far, don't run too far, don't run too far, don't run too far. Then go now, go now, go now, go now, go now. Go now, go now, go now, go now. Walk through the, walk through the tree now. Walk through the tree now. Walk through the tree now. West, west. See next south, see next south. Let's go now. Walk as far as. Oh, watch out, go now. Go back, go back, keep walking back, keep walking back. Like, that's not fast, not fast. This, 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 not a bad movement, not a bad movement, you know. You know the enemy death tank is here, right? Definitely they are, see. If you see a defensive tank somewhere here, they are main, they are, their party head maybe here. So if you're inch up too close, right, for all the Zerg, whoever lah, you know, whoever. If you're inch up too close, they will, they will engage on us, you know. So defensive tanks will watch here. That's, that's very nice from PP lah, you know. And give call if they're trying to inch up. So the rest, try, try and take space, see. Taking space on the go north west, west. Go west, keep walking west, keep walking west, north west, north west, keep walking north west. Yeah, safe here, man. In shop north west, in shop north west. In shop north west, keep, keep walking north west. Keep going, keep going, I'm looking south, keep walking north west, keep walking north west. I'm walking north west, yeah. Go, 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 go. Repaint, gotta go. Move west, move west, move west, move west. Ah, thanks, gotta watch. So, these small trolls can I flank, I can clear it as fast as I can. Don't let anyone get us in this. Okay, okay, okay. One tank, one defending tank, one defending in front, ah. Okay, you chill, 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 chill. You'll see one left tank behind, defensive tank behind. And then another defensive tank at the front. What's your front gun? I recall correctly. Come, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Everyone stay tight. 
I'm calling for engagement. I, I'm just looking bloody. I don't even know what's going on. Also, so remember, keep my we are four three. Yeah, and then we six three. Yeah, we're on south. Come ready, south, south, south. Five, four, three, two, one. Here, here, here. Oh, we come back. Just in and go back. Then go back. Then go back. Nah, nah. We engage. We 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 kill one. You see how 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 fast they die. You are tear difference. It's not about IP. It's about the skill level. And of course, uh, they, will, they will start to hit us, you know. Then we got. And then you keep running. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back. Go back. Move, move quick, move quick. Defensive tank, you hold. Don't let them push us. Hold all these players. Snatch us. Get it, get it. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Get it. Defensive hold, defensive hold, defensive hold. Defensive hold, defensive hold, defensive hold. Defensive hold, defensive hold. Uh, first, uh, we run. We kite, we kite. Because uh, we are facing multiple fronts, not just one one guild. But another guild is going to come from the southeast. Uh, we are back. Uh, yes, yes, Kalip. They are slowly following me over. Sorry if the okay here I will address the the what ah uh, the positioning when they are stabilizing ah uh. like doing nothing not say doing nothing just waiting for enemy to make a move or waiting for a window of opportunity to engage. Okay, well, local... Whoa, that is not running to I'm just gonna forward to where the fight is about to be set up. So somewhere here. Yeah, but I think, uh, okay. So just from some context, the enemies was slightly bigger than us. We are this array, I think 10, they are about 16. Uh. Not that much of a difference, but yeah. Come back, come back, come back. Yeah, the east, yeah, the east. Uh, back range. Yeah, the east, is it? Okay. <laughs> are you on top or below? <laughs> okay, follow me, follow me. I'm gonna follow me down, guys. Follow me, follow me. Oh, oh, oh. So, so, so we are actually doing brawling, you know, one party brawling, but end up the enemy tried to us, so we have to change it to a ZVZ playstyle. So you, you all got to take note, lah. ZVZ and brawling is two different content, and so the playstyle is slightly different. Back, the, 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 but it can be the same also, lah. Okay. Depending on how the Zerg want to play, okay. yeah. and what how the others react to the fight. Yeah. So I want to comment on the positioning for this fight, which is uh, quite good at one point. Like see, I'm in the middle, right? The death tank will be here, and see the players here. Don't walk, don't walk with me. Don't don't, don't walk with me. No. If you're near me, usually it's a very bad area. La. Try to spread north, spread south. This is really quite good, you know. Good positioning. Except for I think. Frost can go north a bit or stay somewhere here. But other than that, everyone's hey, ho, ho, quite, quite okay. okay. Quite okay. Okay. So you see how the team position. No, the you can... Of course, uh, we are in lesser numbers. Uh, lesser numbers is easier to, you know, to space out. But with more, with, with more numbers, right? And then if you don't know how to space, right? What you're going to do, right? Is you're going to generate. Uh, you're going to generate. Uh, Clumps, natural clumps for the enemies, and they will look it as a point of vintage, like a window to them. And it may seem safe to you, you know, walking to your allies, or too many blows, but you're actually safer alone than, than be with the, your friends, uh, your friends and blues uh, nearby. Yeah, you try, try to be alone, be yourself, but of course not, not too far, not too far, like, you know, while the fight is here, you, you want to be somewhere here, you might as well you can go back home, you know. So just take note. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So they were always you know, take take this time to see how you can best position yourself. And of course like defensive tank, if you see anything at the back, someone is gonna bomb us, do something about it, like call it out all this. No problem, no problem. So see, we move. I, I, so the, the defensive tank also will be here trying to call out what's the enemy doing. Is the enemy pushing up or not? You know, so yeah, all this vital information. Oh, oh. Nothing to see, uh, this one we asked the growth keeper to fake engage, which is uh, a mistake. I, mean, I didn't know he was on growth keeper. I'm gonna forward a bit until we get a fight. So, yeah, the spacing in this particular fight was okay. 
decently well. No one clump up. Look at not really sure you see the enemy how they clump right? You see how the names right? You know they are clumping up compared to ours like spread out. The difference uh. Okay, I'm not saying that we are very good, but you know, we also can improve also lah. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, so the caller made a mistake lah. You know, he tried to he overextend and then the team you no know, just kill and W. You see, the the signal is on the melee DPS. Drowning is on the realm, just kill and W this guy. He's, he's rooted and then his team is not saving him, not a cleanse or whatever thing. You know, and he just. Oh, and he, he got to use his mitigation as a caller. So which creates a window, uh. here is a window already, you know. So we, we have to exploit this window opportunity within seconds. So everyone got to. Re it's a reactive, everyone got to be very reactive. When window come out, we got we to we punish them for the mistake, you know. To win fights. Uh. We can't be slow as fuck, you have to be reactive. So we, I'm gonna play a bit loud. So that, Play a bit loud first, so you can hear how fast is it. So yes, you exploit the window opportunity. You go for the E, and at this point of time, you can either push in depending on the caller. You know, sometimes full push. It's, I, I think we should pull push, but uh, I hesitated and moved back a bit, try to stabilize because I have another party that can engage. Then, uh, then from there on, then, uh, then I know that we are very safe to go in. Okay, okay, me, oh, me. They lost in one engage already, basically. This is how we lose in one engage, you know. If you make make a mistake, uh, see the enemy just clump forward. What's all this clump for? There's no reason they want to be in this small area. They should take the open world space. Look, 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 so after the engage, come back. Okay. So nothing much. I don't show you all uh, how the pre-positioning helps. Actually, when enemy outzug you, ah, uh, uh, when enemy outzug us, you need to play choke, ah. Uh. The open world will be slightly harder, slightly harder. But we see how it goes. Okay, that's about it for this. Okay, how do I save the video? Ah, got it. Yeah, 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 in the north west, yeah, north west. Okay, here yeah, heading is. I'll show you guys a ZBZ movement. This is, uh, I think some players did came, but some players did not came. We all came a little later. And you may not know about this. Lah. And uh, I want to do this, but then after that, you know, another player think that we should go. Lead. Some group of. Some group thinks that, you know, doing later is better. I, I prefer doing later, lah, so you'll learn from there. But, uh. Doing non litter, you all play very well, but litter, you all <laughs> play very differently. Of course, some, some players already left the guild, eh? Not all. I'm looking at party 1. Oh, yeah, they all still here. Yeah, all are still here. Oh, a bit. So, you all can see how the movement is. If you all need a link, I can send you, but how a Zerg should move. Of course, it's yellow zone, you all feel no pressure, though. So, black zone is different, though. You are afraid to lose gear, or whatever reason. That's how guild gives you all regear. 4.3. So you are supposed to play like a yellow zone, so don't worry. You see how how the Zerg move? Take care for that composition. Nice you, nice you. Hey, stop, stop, stop. You see, uh, here we suddenly got engaged on. Uh, we got no, no defensive team walk, watching the back. Uh. And uh, next thing is, uh, we have this player called Ota. You know, he actually... He's a new player also. Got trained by... Got trained in SGB also. Very new player. And uh, he's playing a defensive tank role. Uh. He, will call, he will coordinate the... Defensive team, you know, 
where to go, where to hide. So any death tank can step up and do would be nice. I don't have to be a veteran, no. as long as you know the basic of the game. Uh, should we find any? Uh, you know, at least some, someone is there to communicate. Hey, go, go, go. We know, go, we know, we we can push down, fight. I want to go back, I want to go back. There's a choke here. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on. Okay, okay. So, communication is important in Zerg fight. Like, I cannot be playing alone, trying to. Because <laughs> I only got this one small view, you know, one small view. So, I don't even know what's going on. Are they pushing us all day? So, very good information to relay. So, we, so I, it's my job to decipher uh, uh, the best way out and the best way to win for us. Lah. But, of course, uh, we need. It's just like a computer, you need data to process, you know. So, Death Tank uh, communicating is very, very important. I know, I know, uh, it sucks, uh, you know. That we lose fights, and after that we, we all blame the defensive tank or whoever blame. Uh, but but it's such a standard lah. Playing a defensive tank, uh, just your role you know, to call out stuff because you are at the front, no one can see. And uh, of course I'm not saying the supports. Uh, support also gotta step up also. Healers, no, to, to don't abandon. That's why you don't abandon your frontline tanks. If the frontline tanks die, right, the whole thing crash. You know that they, they won't be defensive tank holding, hold, holding our front. And the enemy will just push us in. The idea is if the defensive that's thing if the, if the defensive tank dies in front right the healers you have to think if the defensive tank tank dies in front right uh, we see we we lose we lose our we lose our we lose, our, we, lose our, we lose a fight because we lose the wall you know like the wall that supports the zerg go take somebody go take and the enemy can just breach in So far, they engage. We I think we lost one only. Okay, the back line. Please the back line. So always look at your map, see where you want to go. Sometimes, if I got time, I'll ping for you where to run. So while moving, usually the death don't be, no need to be here. Like you can be on the south east, you know, prevent people from pushing us. Unless there's another team on another angle. Okay, lost, uh, two, two tanks, eh? See, my tank just die off, you know, because no heals. Frontline heals. Tanks die, we lose a fight because there's no death tank. Yeah, let's take no, they die, they die somewhere here. Okay, okay. Like, see, all the healers just run away, you know. Like, the healers are here. But your defensive tank are holding here. So, when healers move, right, you don't have to be all the way to the left side. Try to station somewhere here on the north. Oh uh, yeah, uh, the walls will be nice that I know be, be alone. Then when your death tank is inching up, right? Try and heal them. Try and, try and catch you on them. Heal the back line, please heal the back line. You see, all these healers, all, this is not my kill one, but all these healers doing it wrong. Okay. A simple Q, Q and W from Holy will help. Will help to save. Okay, you gotta forward how, the, how, how movement helps a lot, see? And the music is very big, huh? Trying to push us. Uh, they're moving, they're moving, they're moving. Don't, don't get lost in fight. Follow the call quick. They're mounting up, they're mounting up. I think enemies keep pushing us, so you gotta move quick. If you move slow, right, you're gonna die. You know, you just keep push. Try and hit, try and hit you, try and hit you. Uh, Backline coming, backline coming. Backline, they're coming, backline. Huge. They're behind us, behind us. Behind us, they dismounted behind us. You see how the core help behind us, behind us? Uh, I assume it's east, like, he's recorded. So much record east. Dismounted. Down the hill, down the hill, down the hill, down the hill. Okay, they're coming, I'm, I'm in front, they're coming. Okay, defensive. Yes, east, east. So see how defensive tank caught east, but it's too late already, uh. she caught east earlier so I can react in time. West, west. So we are getting pinched now, so we gotta push on side lah, no, this is a very bad situation for us, no left and right. So the idea is that we gotta push on side. <laughs> this is a very bad condition for us, all is all one slow, but compared to the call and move together. West is weak. Okay, just keep healing all this. So when callers 
we got the counters in one way or another lah. So don't don't be afraid. Oh my god, let's say looking southwest. You all need to look southwest. Come south now. Don't move. See, the Zerg starting to move southwest. See, when I call south, they start to in south. So it looks easy lah, cause it's zero zone lah. So yeah lah, and then there's some other faction members helping. So if you're playing your your own as your own only right, like one guild. So everyone gotta step up lah. You know, try to learn your roles, play your best, and all this, all this take take in feedbacks well. Uh, if you, if you don't bother taking in feedbacks and uh, people tell you it's wrong and you don't want to change, it's gonna be hard lah. You know, it's gonna be hard to win all the, all this all these fights lah. So just take note, just take note, and uh, try to ask each other, how see how you can you know, help each other. There's no point in blaming, you know, in the in team fights. Like, like I always tell you all, like, look at yourself first. Do you play the best? Do you play like hundred percent? Like from your positioning before you die, do you position the best before you blame someone? Of or do you pop any all the mitigation that you can before you die? So all this lah before you want to blame anyone, and uh, it's not easy lah definitely it's easy actually we are doing <laughs> dealing with a new zerg. New zerg means everyone is new lah. Even in established also lah like, there's this, there's drama one lah in terms of DBZ. So so don't don't be afraid when we lose you know, like it's normal to it's normal to die lah. It's not it's normal to to get wiped to get wiped. I'm just gonna do a simple movement on how it works in CBG lah. Not very good example, but you know, in terms of CBG. But usually, this is how it's supposed to to work. Okay, I still here. Like, I'm not a very good CBG caller, but uh, I do share whatever I can share lah to help you all not to you know to help us win lah to help us win. Okay. Gonna show how the Wait, I'm not really sure how to use this but Okay. So weird. Let me try again. Uh. Can I do this? Ah so wait, let me see the video first. The 20 minute cooldown. Okay. Okay, from here on I will show you all the how a Zerg should move, you know. As the like we need to maintain this formation no matter how we move. No matter how we move, you know. Hey, what the fuck? So weird. Can I edit? Oh, I cannot edit the color again. How do I... I press select. Oh, I can. Yeah, yeah, it's what I want. Okay, one minute. So, assume this is us. This is our Zerg party lah. Gonna place the tanks. Okay, the color will be this color. Okay, this is the same color as the. Oh my god, it is the same color as the. As the in-game lah. As the in-game thing. Can I draw a circle or something? A small circle. In the blue. Yeah, maybe the. It's not so good. I want to bow this one. Fuck it, man. Oh shit.
Anyway, guys, uh, just, I just do a simple drawing on, you know, how we should position you know, when I'm moving as a third. So let's say this is an enemy, right? Uh, okay, anyway, the blue color is like the offensive tanks, and assume yellow is me, lah. We some, usually the color will be somewhere in the, in the middle, I guess. So we draw a circle here. Okay, I'm sure this is a color, ah. This is not very nice infographic because it's very hard to visualize what, what's gonna happen in fights. But, uh, more, more, what the fuck. But more or less, more, more or less is something like this. In terms of movement. But take it as a pinch of salt, it's just for new players to know, know to understand really how to position yourself. So, uh, this is the caller. I assume the yellow is the caller. Blue is the offensive tanks. The darker blue is the defensive tank. So defensive tank, say someone watch our tail for bomb squad. You can be either here, 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 you know. This side, this side, you know, just rotate accordingly. You, you may not be here already after a while, you know, when the fight starts. But uh, it's good to have one death tank always at the... At watching our playing spot at the back. Because our bomb squad from different angles. You know, range GPS, you see any rates here, right? Like, it can be here. A bomb squad can be somewhere here. Okay, let me make this rate first. A bomb squad can be here, trying to hit you here. Here also. Just call out, call out, call out. So any death tank try to rotate and help. You know, then call, call out to your team. Like, just voice over the main comms. Someone, someone gotta say something, nah. They can hit you anyway. Sometimes both can be like, can be at this angle or this angle. Any angles that we don't know of. It depends on the terrain of the fight, lah. That's why sometimes I like to pick fights uh, that covers our flanks. So I'll put this on side first. Okay, and then back to the point of view. So, as the movement. Okay, green is the healer. We want to spread ourselves out, you know. You don't have to be, you don't have to be all the way. Oh, shit. You don't have to be all the way at the back, like most healers do, you know, like most healers, you, you, don't, you don't have to be all the way at, over here at the back, there's, there's no no reason to it. Because uh, usually, when the enemy hit, right, they are gonna, they are gonna hit here. Oh, they are gonna hit this area, oh shit. <laughs> One minute, guys. They are gonna hit somewhere like, like here. Oh, I can't overlap, but I'm gonna use, just use my mouse. They are gonna hit somewhere here. You know, at the front line, so animatic, all this, have to be careful. Oh, let me draw the animatic first. Maybe animatic, I'll use this... Uh, yellow is me, right? I'll use orange for animatic. So animatic, you want to be somewhere, you know? This is a party head, guys. Party head is here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is bad. Not a very good drawing. Like, party head is here. No, party head. It's where the... Like, somewhere in this side. The head. The body is here. And the tail. Tail is where all our squishy member is. Like the tail. The tail. So, Bone Squad will tend to you know all these Bone Squad, right? All these Bone Squad, they will try to... Wait, let me drag my canvas out. No, oh, I can't extend my canvas. Uh, shit. Okay, anyways. Bone Squad will try to... They will try to... Not very good drawing, it's okay. They will try to hit our tail and body, you know? They will not hit the head on that. That's how they wipe. By, you know, by killing the, by thinning, thinning off the hurt lah, you know, killing the DPS, all this. Of course, they can kill all the tanks also lah. Not saying they can't kill all the tanks, they can kill all these tanks also. And then run, then run, then run away. So tanks be careful. So they can just kill you, then they just walk away. All this, with their def or defensive tank to hold. And yep, okay. Let me, let me make my support first. So support always don't be here, don't be here. You know, there's no, no, there's no reason you want to hide here, hide here. Oh, there's no value to it unless, unless of course. You saw a boss coming, right? Let's say from this angle, a boss card coming from here, right? This direction, right? Like a boss coming in. Then of course, uh, if you are here, it makes sense that you, you end your, your your allies here. But other than that, don't need lah. You, you want to be somewhere somewhere at the front. Of course, no, not with not with the tanks behind, you know? not, not with all these tanks behind. Because usually if they get hit, right, you're going to cut the collateral damage and then you cannot provide your E value. So what you can do, right, is you can be here. You can be at the corners. At the head. At the head, you no, know, this is a head, right? But at the corners, you know. At the corners. Relax first, look, feel the tempo of the battle. Like the tempo is usually if the. If our side engage first, see? Our side engage first, right? They are definitely gonna. They are definitely gonna do this, you no? Know? Hey, wait, I can't make an arrow up. Yeah, they, they're, they're gonna send back. So, they're gonna send back us. So, when they send, feel the tempo, if they send back us, right? Animatic, do your job, you know. E us. Or let's say when we are attacking, if you want to go for offensive ending, if you have multiple endings, sure, go for it also. But it, th those are the easy endings, you know, just to eat with the caller. But the hard ones are those that, you know, when enemy trying to send back, then you all don't know where they're going to hit. So it's good to have, it's good to be alert. And then, uh, 
you have to feel 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 that they are coming up. Basically how you feel it right is uh you have to know that the enemy is gonna come. The basic rule is that if you get hit eh, sorry, if they if you get hit right, you're gonna hit back, right? So just feel feel get a few of it. Like you know that your team has already start to engage. Definitely the enemy will counter engage. So try to save them from there. Same same for locals also. Locus when and when we hit we, when we full set when we send already right when we send our engage uh, you you may want to drop a locus uh a one or two seconds later you know when the enemy is inching up and you feel that though the surrounding cause they say the enemy is trying to send us then you you gotta you gotta put your locus lah you know? try to put somewhere in the middle depending on the fight I cannot show you here but depending on where the f put on where your party is clumping when moving you know when we're moving up where like most allies are lah or your friend allies are so when we move with a zerg right we need to maintain this formation you know like like this like always maintain this formation you know when, when you're moving something like this when you're moving left or right depending on which front which front you're facing ah but you want you want to be uh, can I rotate this uh, even you rotate right oh sorry it's a bit messed up but it's a bit messed up so let's say that uh sorry bear with me I'm not really good at drawing so oh shit I messed up make the cap uh, can I put this enemy here so let's say the enemy is over here right and then uh of course the tanks right sorry blue is offensive again dark blue is defensive so what you want to do right you rotate accordingly you know rotate right they no, no, sorry. Yeah, primary school can draw better than me. See, you want to rotate accordingly, depending on where the enemy is moving, and then we got to move also. While, we, while, while, while maintaining the same formation, you know, same formation. So we don't be too spread out also, and we can help each other more. See, maintain the same motion when moving, always retain left tank here. But usually, when, when, we, when we move, right, you know what happens? When we move, right, let's say, uh, let's say the enemy engage us here. Uh. It's the enemy engage us, then uh, we got pushed back, you know. Actually, when the enemy guys, we, 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 what we can do right, is we, we can run in. Uh. We can walk, walk into them. Walk into them means we will do this. We will move together and run, go in them, you know, try try, try, go, try and hit their body. Run in them. And of course, uh, at the same time, when we are inside them, right, they will hit us back. So that, that's where the animatic locals try and save us. Lah. Demon armor, Judy armor, you know, Black Monk Stave, all this try and, try and save us. And of course, uh, this fight in between. Eh. But uh, sometimes when we, we, we got a kite, right? When we kite, you know what happens? When the defensive tank is trying to... I'm gonna draw for you, wait, uh. When the defensive tank try to hold for us, uh, it's a lot of defensive tank have this issue because of the other players not carrying their weight. Uh, let's say, I'm gonna position the defensive tank. Let's say all the defensive tank are up front. Uh. And maybe they are here, you know, they are here, way further than the... So, uh, no. Like defensive tank is up here, and then the healers, the healers, the healers. When you're kite, you run away. All of you run away. Like you will be here, 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 like way more. Ah. Like, like here. So when we move right, and now what happen right is uh that it's like when the enemy keep pushing us, you know when they inch up further right, like this. So oh, when they inch up further, right? They're gonna kill our tanks. But then our healers, you know, our healers keep running away. Like you all keep moving like this. Then the healers, you all keep looking west also. Like you don't even bother to heal your tanks. Your your, your defensive tank. The tank, tanks need heals. The tanks don't hit the heals, right? If we lose this, if we lose this half of our zerg, uh, of our party or zerg, like, however we want to. If we lose this half, how are we gonna fight? So healers, you you think no? If this party head die, you you die also. You know, you die also, so uh, gotta be wary also. That's why I ask healers to be in team comm, so you can communicate. Uh, you you need, need more frontline heal, so you all can talk to the each other healers. You know, you, you need to step up. And uh, same for death tank lah. That's why you all in team, you need to speak. Uh. I've been here, you got you all join TC, but no one talk. Which uh, I don't know how. Maybe I'll s see how. I try get <laughs> people that can talk go in team speak. But but it's a problem uh. The reason you need to communicate uh, this is a team play team play game, not a solo game or. <laughs> something that you can do silently on it's a teamwork game so take note of that lah so when we are moving also keep the formation up of course not this fucking formation the, the one before lah wait let me see if I can if I can undo it 
I suck at the drawing. Okay, we try to keep this formation up, like when we move, you know? The healers all front lines, back lines, and uh, animatic also be on point, locus. And try to, try, to, try, to, try to keep the movement at the same, all moving, you know? Keep the movement at the same, depending on where the enemy, where, where, where the enemy are. If enemy rotate, if enemy rotate up here, right? Then we, we rotate south, you know? We rotate south. Don't let, don't, don't let them pass. Then I move, you, go, you all cannot get lost in fire one. have to move fast, uh, in large fights. Uh. No? We win by, this open world, uh, by open world, not holding defensive, like we are moving. So, so yeah, la, that's it. La. Although my, I suck at drawing, but I hope this will you know, give you a certain insight on how it works. Uh. But if not, not very sure, can just, you know, ask each other in the guild. And uh, people give you, if you don't ask, how to improve. That's it for me. La.